What's going on guys? Lucid Motors is moving big this morning. They are going, by my definition, they are going crazy. Still on this parabolic run, but there's actually some more news to support this rally. And that's what I want to talk about. How high we could continue to go, how long this could potentially last. Take a look at the short interest. The basically option activity that's going on because we are seeing a bit of a gamma squeeze as well as just talk about my position and the 13f filings aka what the hedge funds and institutions are doing with their positions so let's get into this video guys if you guys are new here hit that like button for me consider subscribing to the channel also check out the sponsor of this video that is mumu down below in the comment section deposit a hundred dollars using that link get up to 350 dollars in free stock you guys cannot go wrong by doing that i got a free share of starbucks that was over a 100 percent return on my 100 dollar investment so check that out as well as if you guys want notified on all of my trades in real time the link for the buy and sell alerts in the description as well is the way to do that so lucid motors currently at 45 dollars 36 cents it's bouncing around a lot so much it could be much higher it could be lower by the time you guys see this video up eight eight and a quarter percent so definitely a solid solid day overall with some very high volume already we're only about half an hour into trading today and we're already at 41.6 million for volume so it's going to be another just crazy high volume day for lucid motors and we are just gapping up we gap through uh you know forty dollars we were just uh, just above forty dollars so i really wanted to see and i indicated this in the last video if we stayed above 40 or if we dropped under 40 and just we totally just gapped right up and not 45 dollars we're at a pretty much a whole new range now as you guys can see right here this is really where we gap down uh back here during this last rally gap down to about 44 dollars 50 cents per share so that's going to be the level i'm going to mark that's really the level that i will be watching for because obviously we held up that price for about a day and then we did gap all the way back down to about 31 dollars. so if we if we remain above 44 dollars 50 cents per share this rally is probably going to continue keep in mind we have to see a consolidation day some point into the future but with this news that is coming out today it's very interesting i don't know exactly how long this will actually hold hype but it is the ev infrastructure bill so i don't know the exact uh, specifics maybe we can figure out just by clicking on this article and that's obviously a cnbc uh, pro article but either way it doesn't really matter what is actually going on for evs or ev charging if if you're interested in lucid motors and actually trading this it's just basically going to be the hype because by the time they build all these ev chargers send out the money for these bills we know everything takes a long time so it could be years from now until this money actually does get the proper funding and it goes to the proper places so i'm not too concerned about the news it's related to the ev infrastructure bill maybe if you guys want a video on that i will bring that to you guys but it really comes down to this is just causing more hype for the ev sector and specifically today uh tesla is down about 3.72 percent it was down over five percent so you are seeing people that would have normally just traded tesla based off this ev uh infrastructure news going into lucid instead because there is a lot of hype as well as that you're still seeing those fomo buyers in lucid motors you are seeing some shorts covering i would imagine and that increased option activity let's take a look we're seeing quite a bit of activity at the 50 dollars strike expiring by the end of this week so that would not surprise me to go to about 50 dollars per share but also you are seeing a lot of calls that are in the money and as the stock goes higher and we get closer to expiration the gamma goes higher so you see more hedging going on from the hedge funds and institutions hedging just meaning if you sold these calls you have to buy shares to remain delta neutral the higher the price goes like i said the closer to to expiration the higher that gamma goes the more shares you have to buy so you're just seeing these hedge funds institutions hedging shares that are likely already in the 
the money expiring by this Friday. Also, November 19th. That's another interesting day because we're getting close to that and the gamma is definitely starting to work its way up and you're seeing a substantial amount of contracts that are pretty deep in the money at this current moment. So even if Lucid Motors just holds up here, we could see a lot of hedging going on from the hedge funds and institutions exactly like we are seeing today. And the Ortex data is indicating a 7.18% short interest of free float 38.70 38.97 million shares that are sold short now this is a very large amount or at least it was relative to the volume that we had been seeing on any given day now the volume has went pretty parabolic so the days to cover is only at 0 0.98 so meaning short sellers wouldn't have a hard time covering their short positions in the sense of there is shares available to buy back and cover your short position on. But at this point, shorts are significantly underwater. A lot of these short positions came in at about $25 per share. So I think we're going to continue to see a boost just based off of shorts covering on their short positions. Now the free flow on loan is 7.52%, pretty close to the current short interest per, uh, estimates of uh, free flow, which like I said, 7.18%. So not too many shares that are still out on loan that have not been sold short yet. And the share utilization is at 59.91% going down over the past seven days. And that's pretty normal as the price of the stock goes up. More brokerages, hedge funds, institutions are willing to lend out shares to have them sold short just because it's basically a win-win for them that is doing that. So that's the situation from the Ortex data. That's the EV infrastructure bill, a little bit of the technical analysis. And now let's talk about the 13F filings. We are seeing more of these coming out that are incredibly bullish. A couple hundred thousand share position right here, 70,000 shares right there, 258,000, 123,000, 120,000. And some of these firms that are selling out, most of them are very small positions. Some are high, like right here, uh, 2.9. Uh, million dollars worth 3.5 million dollars worth but a majority of these firms that are selling out very small position so you have to obviously uh, p take note of that the ratios the sizes of the long uh, positions that are being bought and that are being sold and we're seeing a lot more firms that are buying larger positions compared to firms that are selling out their large position so hopefully that makes some sense you guys definitely seeing some bullish activity from the 13f filings we'll just have to wait and see until all of these do come out and we'll get a clear trajectory of how the hedge funds and institutions are feeling on lucid motors and lucid motors continues to rally now up 9.64 percent and i am getting clapped on my cover calls that i sold the 42 dollars cover calls for february 18 2022 i sold three of them at 215 dollars a piece now they are currently worth 1250 dollars a piece i'm probably going to roll these out by the end of the day go into a little bit of margin and then obviously once i get the credit take that margin away it's going to cost me about $3,800 to do this, but essentially you buy back these cover calls and then you can go to the option chain, go to a date that is further out into the future. So I would go to May then go to these $50 calls and I could collect more than basically what these $42 cover call cover calls are worth and at that point i would have to sell my shares at 50 dollars and i don't think lucid will be above 50 dollars by then but hey anything can happen and you always got to be mindful of that as far as my position up 7300 dollars 113.33 percent uh, market value of $13,725, average cost of $21.46 on 300 shares, portfolio diversity of about 29%. So this is basically all you guys need to know as far as, you know, how to trade this if you're not in this. I really think day trading this with options is probably the best way to go just because you're going to see volatile moves and I don't want to hold these contracts overnight because they do cost a lot of money to get into as far as how high we can go obviously we were at 65 dollars per share so that's going to be a resistance level but anything can happen here in this day and age in the markets and specifically with lucid motors with all the hype that they do have right now so that's going to be all for this video if you guys got value out of it hit that like button for me consider subscribing to the channel all that good stuff check out the links for free stock but i'm going to get out of here you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video